Aloha. Hi, this is your girl Hawaiian Libra and I am doing a monthly August reading for the astrological sign Scorpio. Aloha, I am a Libra with a Scorpion energy in my Mercury. Okay, let's see. Um, for Scorpio, your archangel is Jeremiel. Okay, so if you're born October 24th, between November 22nd, you are a Scorpio. If you are born October 24th and during the seven days, you are born on the cusp of Libra and Scorpio. If you are born November 22nd, within that week, you are born, you are born on the cusp of Scorpio and Sagittarius. Some things about Scorpio is that you can work with the deep and shadowy side. You can also um have shadow and you have recognition of shadow and light you are fearless secretive charming beautiful you have this beautiful side about you if your moon is in scorpio you you know how to analyze people you're very very um in a psychology aspect you're very skilled in those areas scorpio you're also very protective over family members okay so to um represent Jeremiel I have the amethyst um, stones okay that represent Jeremiel because um, Jeremiel he um, he does a lot of soul searching and if you are a Scorpio you're doing a lot of um, work within yourself you're you're completing some you may be completing some past life um, confrontations or any challenges and this amethyst is really really helps guide you will help guide you and Jeremiel um, to honor our angel Jeremiel I um I honor that this art angel whether feminine or masculine with this amethyst okay these are amethyst <sighs> mahalo our angel Jeremiel okay for you scorpions that are um, new to my channel I use the bicycle cards this was channeled to me by my ancestors to use this I use a Game of Thrones cards and I use the Archangel Power Tarot cards okay. so let's get started with the reading um, and oh before I start with the reading please press like and subscribe and press the notification button if you would like to receive future readings or know that I'm doing future readings and also um, I am accepting zero dollars not even one penny for the month of August if you would like a personalized reading please donate to www.kahea.org and then just show me that you donated to them through my email and then I will um, schedule you for a personal reading okay the information is on the bottom aloha and mahalo thank you okay our angel Jeremiel, God of light and truth and ancestors, please tell us what you have in store for Scorpios for the month of August. Do you have in okay, what can you tell us for Scorpios for the month of August? Tell me the truth then. Tell us the truth then. Nothing but the truth. For the highest good and highest best intentions. Hanui loco. Hanui bajo. Seven of spades, seven of diamonds, and seven of of clubs. Okay, seven, seven, seven. These are really high, powerful cards in um, the home front, Scorpios. You're going through transformation in your relationships. You're um, answering... I'm channeling that you're in your love relationships for most of you guys and your home relationships. You're going through inquiries, questioning, like higher thinking level, like, and you're, I'm getting, thinking, what is the consequence? If I do this, what is the con consequence? 777. Seven, seven. 
taking action i'm seeing the words action and consequence from my guides taking action accepting the consequence in your home front any examples that you can share with me for scorpios like you're finally taking responsibility. Like you're fighting, Scorpios, you're finally saying, okay, I didn't file my tax return. That's why I never got no taxes, money back. You're, but if I do, it's like a learning experience. It's like, okay, if I do file for this, but it has to do with the home front. Like, oh, my bathroom is broken because I didn't fix it. Like you're taking responsibility for your things in your home, things in your relationships. You know, I said this wrong thing to someone and they responded badly. So I shouldn't have said that thing. So the next time I do a confrontation, I'm going to change my tone. That's what I'm getting for you, Scorpios. It's like in the home front, you are taking, finally taking responsibility. And it's a learning experience. It's, it's We're growing. We're all going through this spiritual growth. Our Angel Jeremiah, can you give me two more cards for the astrological, astrological sign for Scorpios, please? Okay. Um, you got the King of Swords in reverse. You got the Queen of Cups upright. Okay, so there was some challenges that you had to meditate on at home. There's some things that you're trying to meditate on in your relationships, in your house. Okay, you may be going through also like completing a transition. You may also be, be um, I'm getting, for some of you, I'm getting some, some past life karmic things that is coming to a completion in August. So let's look at some our angel power tarot cards for clarification for love and romance. Can you please give us some clarification? This card want, really wants to come out. Leap of faith. It says, believe in yourself, listen to your heart, do what, do what gives you joy, Scorpio. You're so hard on yourself. You've been hard on yourself for the month of July. This time in August, at home, you do what you, um, that brings you joy. Okay? Safe joy. You've been coming to some realizations, but don't be too hard on yourself. Okay, let's do, let's look at, um, money and finances. Our angel... Um, Jeremio, tell us the truth and nothing but the truth, ancestors. Um, what can you tell us for money and finances for astrological sign Scorpios? For money and finances for August. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Ten of diamonds getting paid you get your paycheck is coming in some kind of payment is coming in four and three of um, clubs some getting good luck like fight luck is finally coming on your side with money and finances okay two cards from the game of thrones Two cards coming out of the Game of Thrones for Scorpio, Joe Jeremio, and Ancestors. Oh, okay. Four of Coins. The money is there. The money is in the bank. Very good investments. Spending your money wisely. Seven of Cups. Just a lot of things on your mind. Emotion. Emotionally. That has to do with abundance. Scorpio, if someone is borrowing something from you, don't think of um, think of it as petty, okay? I know, I know, it may be expensive. Maybe someone, my neighbor may have um, borrowed something expensive, your lawnmower or something. 
a friend or a family member have borrowed, maybe borrowed a dress, never returned, never washed, wash them. Thinking about your your things that people are borrowing. I know, I know, but you have a lot, Scorpio. Okay, you have a lot. You already have a lot. Nothing wrong with sharing. Okay. One more card for Scorpios. One more card for Scorpios. Divine guidance. You're being divinely guided to share your wealth and things with people. It's saying, the search for meaning in life, consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers and friends. Listen, okay? Listen to your intuition. Listen to your guides. Listen to people that have been there and done that. Okay, Scorpios, we come to the conclusion. You're coming to the conclusion that you don't know everything. This is what this is about. You're coming to the conclusion that you still have a lot to learn. We all do. We all do. It's what you do with that knowledge, Scorpios. Okay? Use our angel Jeremiah to guide you in your finances, in your home, or, or whoever is your, men your spiritual mentor. Okay? Okay, let's look at health and healing for Scorpios. Our angel Jeremio, Jer what can you tell us for health and healing for our Scorpios? Our angel Jeremio, what can you tell us for health and healing for Scorpios for the month of August? Tell us the truth and nothing but the truth. Month of August, what can you tell us for health and healing for Scorpios, ancestors? What can you tell us for health and healing for Scorpios for the month of August? That's the truth and nothing but the truth. Okay. So you got Queen of Spades, Queen of Spades in your health and healing, eight and three. There's some emotions that are going on. There me like a feminine energy. I'm just getting um Okay, Scorpios. There's things that you gotta work through in your emotions because it's um any jealousy or anything like that. Look at what you you have. Look at the things that you have. You have someone that loves you, you have people that love you. This person it could be you or another person. Don't be jealous if you think they have more than you. Because it's affecting your health. Okay. Two more cards for Scorpions. For health and healing. Okay, it looks like you have to make a decision in your health and healing. You have to make a lot of decisions about where to eat, what to eat. And you have the nine of spirits victorious in your, your health and healing. You do what you can, Scorpios, to uh, make good choices in your health and healing. Okay, one more card for health and healing. One more card, please, for health and healing for Scorpios for the month of August. Give us one more card, please. Seven of Michael. It's there is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. Again, Scorpios, this is when you gotta put your ego on the side and you gotta ask for help. If you need a ride somewhere, you need someone to talk to, you gotta ask for help because it's affecting your health and healing. Remember. Um, emotions, your love and romance, your money and finances, and your health and healing always correlates. Okay, so please ask for help. Ask for more information from the doctors as well. Okay, so this include this this concludes the reading for Scorpios. Aloha Valia Oko. Please press like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, Scorpios. Ahui ho.